Dozens of cats who were taken out of an unhealthy and dangerous Loudoun County home. They're now looking for a safe place to live. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marceau explains what happened and the challenges the county is now facing. This cat is reaching out for a new owner. At the same time, Nina Stively is reaching out to people across the DMV. Pets really do improve our lives. Stively is the executive director of the Loudoun County Animal Services, and she's making the pitch for adopting a cat, any of them. And there are plenty. We obtained a search warrant to go into the house and remove the animals. These cats were given to the county by a judge following a tip and ensuing investigation into a Sterling home where 40 cats were found and removed from a hoarding situation. There were items stacked floor to ceiling and cats everywhere in squalid conditions, Stively says. When we get situations like this where 40 cats come in on a single day, uh, it really compromises our ability to give individual attention to every single animal in the facility. It's been just a couple of months since the Loudoun County Animal Services took in more than 100 animals that they found in a Round Hill home that was serving as a rescue center. The animals were found in really poor conditions. It's even led to some criminal charges against the rescue staff. This volume of just sustained increased surrenders is very challenging. That's the problem. It's not just these two recent investigations that have brought large amounts of animals here. It's a rise in animals people are voluntarily surrendering. Do you have the space for all of them? It's been really tight, I'll be honest. That's why the county is begging people to take these animals home. We don't want them to be bored. We don't want them to get depressed. When cats are caged for a long period of time, sometimes they'll stop eating. We want these pets to be in homes where they can feel loved and relaxed and not the stress of being in a shelter. Reporting in Loudoun County, Max Marcella, DC News Now. Max, thank you. So all of the animals from the previous investigation have been adopted, but after the 40 cats were taken in, Animal Services says it's at double its capacity right now. So if you're interested in adopting, we'll have that information on our website, dcnewsnow.com.